Okay, I don't know why it seems like y'all are leaning. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Jordan and it is a perfect time for you to be new because I'm actually going to sit down and record a try to do my individual lashes for the first time video and i'm also going to answer some of the frequently asked questions that i receive on my page on my medias and everything just about who i am where i'm from and where i'm going so let's just sit back it's going to be like a facetime very like try to make it as short as possible okay y'all but i do love to talk so bear with me and we just going to answer some questions chill and everything so other things that I'm also using to do this project is I have some Envy Black Strip Last Adhesive with Aloe. And then I got some tweezers and some also glue that came with another set of individual lashes. So the first question I'm going to answer is, who are you? Where are you from? But my name is Jordan. I am from Clarksdale, Mississippi, which is a part of the Mississippi Delta. I would definitely recommend y'all search up the Mississippi Delta just to give a sense or more like what it's all about because it's very complex. Um, later on in the line, I definitely want to do like a documentary of Clarksdale because it is so much power there. So, But yes, I am from the Mississippi Delta. I have lived in Clarksdale my whole entire life. Um, I am the youngest of four, which is crazy. <laughs> so, I am the baby. I am the baby child of both of my parents. So, you can say that I am spoiled, very much so, very <laughs> much so. So, I said I was very sporty. I started playing t-ball at an early age, so I did that, and then I played high school softball from 7th grade all the way up to 12th grade, and I kind of wanted to do it in college, but it never worked out, so here I am. Uh, between all that time, I also did tennis for one year i did soccer for one year and i did band for seven years yes another fun fact about me i was actually the drum major for two years on my <laughs> oh that's crazy hold on dang that brings up so much memory so yes i was drum major and i was so mad because throughout high school and middle school like middle school i said i posted a lot and it was very like immature just everything just uh so once I made it to high school, like 10th grade, I deleted everything off my Insta. I had like probably a thousand pictures on Instagram from just being in middle school and high school. Y'all just talking, ain't doing nothing about my lashes. Okay, hold on. Oh, y'all look at them. So this one is just empty. She got beat up. She's in the distress. She is going through a lot of things. And then this one kind of held its own. And it's been like over a month, I think. So these lashes did really good. I give it to her. Yeah, I really... I deleted everything from middle school, but when I hit high school, I really didn't even care about posting and like social media a lot. And it definitely affected me now because now I gotta get back into the swing and everything. It was just ghetto. It's really, really ghetto. So, that can basically describe my athletic side. Like, I did something, some extracurricular activity all throughout my life until college, which I, it kind of affected me because now your girl gained 20 pounds and I just can't get rid of them, okay? So I was in one relationship from ninth grade all the way up to come to college and it end very, very badly. We're not going to talk about it. It's just so very negativity and we don't do negativity, okay, y'all? So, me going down and partying and having, I don't know, high school flings or whatever y'all want to call it, that really just didn't happen. And so I was pretty much a lame. I had got a job towards the end of my high school career and I worked every weekend, literally for like, what, four to 10. By the time I got out of work, I'm smelling like real tips and poly sausages and stuff. And so I really just went home, took a bath and called it a night every time. And then I don't know, went to school, the extracurricular activities after school, had game days on Fridays for band or we did like band trips and stuff. So, I really didn't have time to like take pictures or 
care about buying clothes or this and that and that because I always was in something, always active, I always had something planned. So now that I'm in college, I'm kind of more free. I do stuff in college, I'm in groups, but there's not very time consuming simply because COVID and so it gives us a lot of leeway. So right now I'm really just pick back up on YouTube and I'm actually doing good if I got 800 subscribers. So. But that's really a full rundown up to me getting to college, y'all. Like, honestly, it's really not that much to sight in. I kind of do story times, but I talk too much, so we don't know. <laughs> is, how has your college experience been? So, y'all, I can really do a whole TED talk about how my college experience has been, just everything I've noticed and everything. But I will say that, so I graduated high school 2019, May 2019. I went straight out to college. I went straight out to a university. Personally, I felt that I wanted to go out to a university or just go off in general because I just felt like Clarksdale had nothing else for me. It was time for me to, you know, branch off, meet new people, face different problems, I guess you could say. Because I find myself growing within them challenging situations. Like, just how I react, how I get over, like, them barriers make me me and just add to my self journey type stuff for as my like college experience um pertaining to the mississippi i just feel like i chose the right school um i love southern it is a nice size for me it's not too big not too small it have a lot of things here we have a lot of programs really great programs on college campus that you know can help you with your self journey so for me southern miss yes I said Hattiesburg or just Southern Mississippi is kind of okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not a bad thing. Um, now y'all have to also realize that I'm based in my college experience based off like my life experience also. So being from my hometown, we really don't have much. Like even our Kroger's shut down. Uh, we don't have any like really out of the ordinary food restaurants. So coming here and having a lot of food options, being so close to everything, like Mobile is like what an hour, maybe two away. Jackson is an hour away, New Orleans is an hour away. Shit, we can get to Florida in like what two, three hours. So like everything's so close. And that has really made me want to just like travel, just see more of the world and everything. But because of and just that whole like this whole panorama going on it really hindered my college experience and i'm really upset so i've only been on campus for one semester fully last semester i worked five days a week so and then this semester i was on all online classes so i literally only been on campus one full semester so that really sucked and really because of that like all these reasons of just like and I just really feel like I haven't gave myself the full opportunity to like be on campus and experience it. I was supposed to be going to the sister college on the Gulf Coast this fall, but um, I'm doing every class that I could possibly take here at Southern Miss just so I can make a more name for myself while, so I can become more stable because moving down to the Gulf Coast means being like six hours away from my family and that's the furthest I've ever been and it's the longest I've been without them. So I just need to become more stable and more like ensure with myself to move down there. So, but again, I did record like somewhat of a moving to college, like dorm series. So if y'all wanna see that, let me know. I could definitely put that out for y'all. I do not mind. And I also did a like dorm tour that never went up. So if y'all wanna see that of my own personal dorm, let me know. Hopefully this all this fall I can do part two of dorms. I know people who watch my video for USM content has been dying for me to put some more out. I'm just so sorry. I've been putting out a little bit more like life updates. So if y'all want more USM, like what's it bring to your dorm? If you move to an apartment, wanna do like what to move to your apartment? Let me know. Um if y'all want an apartment tour and an apartment video, because I did record my moving process here. So if y'all want to see that, let me know. Y'all literally have like all of it. It just last year was so hard for me in life. So I just couldn't do none of it. So next question, where do you want to travel next? So over this summer, I am planning on taking the summer to just travel a little bit more. Um, I know y'all like, damn, we still in a panoramic 
view like i know i know and we are taking every precaution to travel safely but for the summer i think i want to travel to at least florida and one other place um and then like miami and like they're really like something pretty like pensacola or i guess dolphin island i think that'd be cool oh dolphin island is in alabama girl be quiet next question um do you ever feel insecure being plus size if anybody new here i do do plus size like try on hauls i have another one coming up like two more videos <laughs> so i say yes i do like i am human just because i don't show like all my insecurities on camera doesn't mean they're not there um it's been plenty of time i've not put on the outfit simply because of how my body is or something like that but i really have came up with the decision to just start working out more to get a healthier diet and be the person that i want to see so one reason for me starting doing my hauls just start doing like clothes related videos on my channel is because i feel as if just because we are plus size they're not as pretty or something like that like no i'm going to be the one that breaks all that like i really just want to stop that idea i want to stop that all together so that whole thing like plus size people don't need to wear this big size girl y'all might as well <laughs> no yeah i'm gonna wear whatever i want to because the same way i wear my crop top and my shorts um just as the next smaller size woman doesn't make my eyes any more like more revealing so yeah that's why i am going to continue doing hauls and giving y'all like just that that power just to do it because it really starts from you and that's what i had to realize too like i learned this in college have other stuff be in our heads and that really like that stops all creativity and that automatically put like doubts in our heads so if you tell yourself hey girl i look good i'm gonna walk out this house and don't get up with nobody say that's a bad to me that's very much lady boss vibes okay so we don't care about size so and then the next question literally it said how do you stay motivated what are some of your goals so do you want to say let me get my journal all right starting out with the first question how do you stay motivated so honestly for me i stay motivated because i literally know like where i've been going through a lot at a young age and I just don't want to be there. I don't want to be in my own life. I don't know. So like just knowing my past and just knowing my potential. Or really, I really don't know my potential. Yeah, I'm so much greater than what I give myself credit for. And that's what keeps me motivated, knowing that I can always improve. So I grew up in a projects, in a poor town and everything. I grew up with a single mother. She did everything she possibly can to provide for us. And to know that feeling and to know where I come from and the feeling of just hurt and just sadness. Oh my God. And so just knowing that there's more to life than where I've come from, I'm always going to be motivated. Like, yes, I have my days and I want to film something like that, like showing y'all one of the days when I'm not, you know, he he's and ha-has. But... I just know that I don't want to feel what I felt. I have a handy dandy notebook. I have notes on my phone. I have notes within my like computer and everything. And I just write down everything that I want. Everything that I want to do, no matter how crazy it is, I write it down. And I circle one of them and then I really just think like, okay, Jordan, how are you going to make this accomplish? That's just how I access my goals and everything, but you know as you said what are my goals okay y'all just be talking oh my god okay so where are my goals my goals so my goal was to hit 500 subscribers by july i'm at 800 subscribers and it's may so so now i have erased it that's checked off so now my new goal or manifestation i manifest 1000 subscribers by the end of may this was the, the beginning of january i just wrote down everything so I said 500 subscribers and I rechanged it and hit said 1,000 by the end of May. I said upload at least 30 videos by the end of this year. 
Um, for that, I say that's still a good number. However, now I'm just going to put out content. You see what I'm saying? If it hit 30, cool. If it don't, so what? <laughs> I'm still gonna be happy like as long as I put out content that I like and that y'all enjoy cool because I am trying to make social media and just YouTube my full-time job so it's like this is some things I have to get done in order to achieve this goal but besides social media and just like this lifestyle and real life goals for me is to maintain a healthy relationship so we made it together seven months and it's gonna be the man that I marry so I really want to just make sure that both of us are happy, both of us are still continuing on our individual goals and just individual life journeys, but also being conjoined as one in a relationship. So dad, I want to get my passport and I was set to travel out the country this year, still can happen. I want to fully organize my closet when I move because one thing that I am horrible with is timing and storage. I'm just I have a lot of stuff. I'm only going to get more stuff. And so, have everything have its own spot when I move is going to be my top priority. Uh, I want to take more pictures this year. I want to travel more this year. I want to do some more photo shoots. And yeah, like, my them just simple goals that I have for right now. I know they kind of like, uh, yeah. Hey y'all, it's Edith and Jordan here. I actually decided to cut this video off right here. I wanted to make this video very, very short, but it's gonna be like definitely under 20 minutes, but still kind of past 10. Um, I really had like one hour doing my lashes, answering questions, and I would rather put this out if y'all like it. I can put the part two up and have more questions, of course, and y'all can see like the final result of my lashes because I decided to make a fuller and I also did like spoiler with bottom lashes so if y'all want to see the other set of questions that i did just make sure you give it a thumb up hit the subscribe button and comment down below and also you can comment down some questions because i can always do like faq videos you see what i'm saying but at one point i just kind of sound like dead so i'm like it's gonna be long and it's gonna be dead that's just not cute so I am right here. Thank y'all so much for clicking on this video. I do have a post notification shout out because I forgot in my last two videos. My post notification shout out goes to Bro hit me up on every social media platform ever. Like literally add me on everything on Snap, on Insta, on TikTok, and on um YouTube. So thank you so much. Thank y'all so much for even clicking on this video and watching this far if you like my vibe just like the content make sure you give it a thumbs up while my head like this y'all don't even worry about it. it's like two o'clock in the morning i'm trying to get this video out for y'all if y'all want to see the part two comment down below i'm out good night i love y'all hope everybody's being safe and be blessed peace <laughs>